All right, we'll bring winner tonight, 57-53 Missouri Valley over Riverside here tonight. Here with a couple of big contributors now, Eli Fouts and Dane Jansen. And guys, obviously, to start off, thoughts, maybe takeaways here from this game tonight. Um, it was just a tough fight game and come down to the wire. And um, that's about it. <laughs> We had a good start. Yeah. Uh, we got a kind of a lead, but they came back. We had a battle, and it went down to the last second. Certainly, and obviously, left for you a big night offensively, over 20 points. Also, had some big free throws there late in that, in that game. Just kind of take us through your mind there at that free throw line there late in that game, hitting those late free throws. Um, just try to stay as calm as I could and um, just get up there and hit them. Obviously, Dane. Uh, obviously, you guys held him, held him to three points there in that fourth quarter. You had Riverside. Just kind of talk about maybe some of the some of the defensive thing, things you guys were doing defensively that kind of slowed them down late in that game. Uh, we really had to stay up on them. No threes. Uh, we had to help over on ten a lot. He's good. So we just wanted to rebound a lot and score. And obviously, you know, speaking of reboards, you had a big night on that as well. Also, a double digits in the points tonight. Big performance for you. Just kind of kind of talk about your performance here this evening. Um, it felt pretty good. Uh, we just drove in, and I was able to get some shots early in the first quarter, and a couple of them weren't falling, but I just kept on shooting and just played my game. Certainly, and obviously, Eli, as I mentioned, big night for you. Some of that also coming from deep here this evening. I mean, just kind of talk about there in the first half especially, where you had some shots there from deep. Just kind of talk about that feeling as a shooter when it feels like just about nothing, everything's going on at that point. Um, just feels good. Um, started off hot and then started cooling down, but then I just started driving, getting some free throws and some floaters. And obviously, as a couple of senior leaders on this team, now obviously, as in a back and forth game like that, for the most part, just kind of tell us a little bit you know, what you're telling your guys. Try to keep keep that momentum going for y'all. Um, just stay composed, and if there's a bad call, don't worry about it. Just focus on playing the game. Certainly. Now, how does a win like this? Obviously, this win brings you guys back to 500 on the season. Kind of talk about uh, Dane, the momentum kind of from this game as you guys move forward in the latter parts of this season. Um, it was really good. We got back to 500, and I think we'll use that for the rest of the season and just keep on fighting to stay 500. Congrats on the win tonight, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, once again, big win here from Missouri Valley here tonight, 57-53 over Riverside here tonight. You're now with head coach Mason. And, Coach, obviously a back-and-forth game for you guys here tonight. Big run there at the end. Just kind of your thoughts and takeaways from this one. Um, you know, we've been talking to these guys a lot about just the process and, and sticking to the process and, um, you know, continuing to just not let things bother us and taking things one play at a time. And to see our guys, you know, with that, we were about down about eight. Uh, I think they're about toward the end of the third quarter and toward the beginning of the fourth. And um, to see our guys just uh, continue to play hard, um, continue to stay together um, and just trust each other was just, it was just a big step for us in the right direction. Certainly, and obviously a big nod offensively for Eli Founts, over 20 points for him on the night. Just kind of kind of speak to his performance here this evening. Also, of course, comes up big with some of those free throws late as well. Eli's been playing with a lot of confidence, um, and he's doing some things in his game now where that we've challenged him a little bit as coaches, um, and he's taken the, taken the step to do those things. Uh, used to be more of just a three-point specialist, a guy that uh, put it up from deep, and uh, if they were going in, they were going in. If they weren't, he was going to keep shooting them. Now he's found a way to get himself into the elbow, uh, found, himself, uh, to, found a way to get himself to the rim. Uh, he's done a great job of getting to the free throw line, and when he gets there, he doesn't miss very many of them. Um, so in that regard, he stepped up for us big time offensively, but did a great job. Um, you know, Riverside's an, an amazing team. Aiden Bell killed us the first time um, out, and, and Eli got the job of Garden Aiden, and he did a great job defensively tonight. And that's probably the thing he won't get recognized for as much tonight because he put the ball in the hole, but he did an amazing job defensively. Uh, Brody Logger on, on Jepson. Um, Brody did an outstanding job on him. It's hard not to foul out against that kid. He's got such great moves and does so many great things. And uh, hats off to him for his 1,000th uh, point uh, tonight. Um, but uh, I'm so proud of our kids for the win. Certainly, and obviously, you mentioned the defense there earlier. Obviously, you hold Riverside. I think it was the three points that were only in there in that fourth quarter. And uh, just kind of talk about maybe some of the things you guys adjust there defensively, especially there in that game to put up those last 14 points. It, uh, you know, we talked to him a lot on the bench about, you know, we have to surround, you know, the two guys that really hurt us, and it, we have to do it on a string. We have to play like a team. And I think we just got, we got really tough mentally, um, and we just really trusted each other and followed game plan. Um, it was just a situation where I think we really wanted this one really bad. Uh, we let one slip at their place. It was a really close game. Jefferson made a tough shot at the end to beat us. And uh, I think our guys just really wanted it bad. And, and, and they gave us that fight that they need to at the end to, to hold them down defensively to, to come out with a win. 
Certainly, and obviously, you know, what was kind of the message there to your guys? As you mentioned, I think you were down almost by 10, actually, there as you entered that fourth quarter. I mean, what was kind of the message to your guys there? Obviously, then you go on that big run there to finish it out. You know, the first thing was, was just breathe in your nose, out your mouth. You know, just get yourself calmed down to where you can play your game, the game that you, you know, the game that uh, that you know how to play. And and, uh, and then it was just, we're going to have to fight for this. It's one possession at a time. We're going to have to get a good shot on the offensive end, a good quality shot, and we're going to have to get stops on the defensive end and hats off to our kids. They did both of those things. Sir, then obviously, uh, Dane Jansen, I think he was darn near close to a double-double here tonight at a big night on the board. Just kind of speak to his performance as well here this evening. He's really kind of get, he's really kind of gotten going the last few games. So right now, I just think he's riding a bit of a wa uh, wave of momentum. Um, you know, Dane, uh, he's capable of a double-double every night, and he's played point guard as a freshman and sophomore a little bit for, for our varsity teams, so he can pass the ball too. Um, but to see him finally kind of, he went, he had a little lull there and went through a little bit of a slump, but to see him jump out of that um, and do the things that he did tonight and, and over the last few, course of the last few games has been really exciting for us as a team. Um, he's one of the guys that makes us go. So. Certainly, and this always is when it brings you guys back to 500 of the season, 8-8 eight and eight now. I mean, just kind of talk about momentum-wise, how this game kind of pushes you guys a little bit here to finish out the season, where, you know, obviously I think you guys might, might have performed, or outperforming, excuse me, outperforming expectations a little bit here as well. Yeah, uh, you know, this is the time of year where you want to play your best ball, and you want to find out a lot about your team and what your strengths and what your weaknesses are. I think through the process of this season, we have done that. Um, we kind of, we're starting to figure out, um, you know, what we really do well, and and what some of our weaknesses are and what we got to work on on the practice uh, court. Uh, but it's just been a situation where, um, you know, our guys show up every day with a smile on their face. They love the game of basketball. And to be 8-8, eight and eight, they're really excited, but they're not satisfied. Yeah, they want more than that. Um, we've got a big week next week with two teams that we've played. Um, I think the Tri-Center game was five or six point game the first time around. And then uh, we feel like we had IKM that first one. It was a two-point game at the end of that one. So um, there's two games we can get next week, and I think they'll be hungry and ready. We've got something to win tonight, Coach.